Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt Class 3 two inch trailer hitch receiver. But before we do that, why don't we check it out and make sure that this is gonna work for you. So when it comes to putting a hitch on a Santa Cruz, it really just makes sense to me, honestly. You know, it looks like a really adventurous type vehicle. Has a bed back here, sits up high off the ground. A lot of them have the roof racks and so, uh, you can do a lot of different things with them. And so, honestly, a hitch on the back of it uh, just seems seems right at home. Makes sense, you know, whether you're planning on using accessories, let's say maybe a, a bike rack or a cargo carrier, or maybe even pulling a trailer around, uh, whether it be, uh, you know, a pop-up camper, a utility trailer, maybe a small boat, something along those lines. Uh, you want a hitch that's, that's going to be able to get the job done. And uh, this one here is going to allow us to do just that. One of the things that uh, I like about this particular hitch is the way it's going to look. All right, so for the most part, it's going to be completely hidden. Uh, really, the only thing you're going to be able to see is a receiver tube opening there. And honestly, I think that complements the look of the Santa Cruz uh, when you're looking at it from the back. Uh, and I also like the fact that it's going to give us some pretty good clearance. So what I mean by that, uh, you know, the hitch is going to sit up nice and tight against the bottom of our bumper, um, give us good ground clearance as well as bumper clearance. So receiver tube is going to be just behind it there. And that's going to allow us to use uh, pretty much any of those folding type of accessories. So with this being a class three hitch, it is going to give us that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, um, super common size and a lot of different things will work with it. At the end, there's gonna be a reinforced collar for a little bit of extra support. And the hitch is going to use that standard 5 8 pin and clip. Keep in mind though, pin and clip does, doesn't come included. If you need one though, not really a huge deal. You can just grab it here at e-trailer. And we are gonna have uh, loop style safety chain openings there, which aren't huge, but they're sufficient. They'll give us more than enough space to use just about any size hook that we might have. As far as hitch's weight capacities go, it's gonna have a 750 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. And that's gonna be the amount of weight that's pushing down on the hitch. So a really high number actually. And you'll be able to use just about any size bike rack or cargo carrier that you'd want to, for example. As far as the hitch's maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, that's gonna be 5,000 pounds. And that's gonna be the amount of weight that is pulling on the hitch. So the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. Now, I do always like to suggest, so it's never a bad idea just to grab your Hyundai's owner's manual. That way you can make sure your Santa Cruz can pull that much weight safely. We do get asked quite a bit of questions uh, in regards to trailer wiring. So if you are gonna be pulling a trailer, you want the lights to work on it. You know, that way you're safe and legal and people around you know what's going on. Um, thankfully for these vehicles, there is a, essentially a direct plug and play kit available. And, um, you can use that if you have a tow package plug. And um, even if your vehicle don't have a hitch on it, that doesn't necessarily mean you don't have that plug. Matter of fact, most of the Hyundais that I see in here do have the plug. And it's really easy to check and figure out. Over here on your uh, driver's side, there's a small panel and you can just pop out a couple of fasteners and you should see that plug up there. So uh, if you do see that, that empty, slot that empty plug up there, chances are really, really good. Uh, you're gonna be able to use that factory tow package wiring. So I went ahead and just pulled outside real quick to get us on some flat ground. That way we can give you some accurate measurements in case you need them. And these are gonna help us figure out which accessories are gonna work best. So if you go from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's gonna be right at about 14 inches. So chances are pretty good if you're gonna be pulling a trailer you're gonna to need to get a ball mount that has a slight rise in the shank. We go from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper here. That looks like it's gonna be right at about three and a half inches. And you can use that measurement to figure out exactly if any of those folding accessories can be stored in that upright position without making contact with the back of your vehicle. But other than that, at the end of the day, uh, what more can you really ask for out of a trailer hitch? You know, it's gonna look good and uh, get the job done. Now, as far as the installation goes, really not bad at all. Um, essentially, you take your spare tire off, uh, you know, to give you some room to work. 
lower the exhaust down, which don't let that intimidate you. It's, you just pry off a couple of rubber hangers and more or less just put the hitch up and bolt it in, tighten everything down. So really shouldn't uh, run into any issues or, or take up a whole bunch of your time. But speaking of that, why don't we go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here at the back of our vehicle and we need to temporarily uh, remove our spare tire. That way it'll give us some more room to work while we're putting the hitch up. So we're gonna have our cover, unscrew that. I took out the spare tire tools from the back seat or underneath the back seat. And I'll get those in place. And let our tire down. So now underneath the vehicle, we are gonna to need to lower our exhaust down some just to give us extra space to work. Uh, before we do that, I do suggest taking a strap and just running it from side to side. That way we can kind of control how far and how fast we let the exhaust come down. So for our exhaust hangers, which we'll walk through all of them in a minute, there's gonna be three. Uh, what you're going to want to do is take some soapy water or some penetrating oil and just spray it on there and that'll help lubricate everything and make it easier to uh, get them removed. So to actually get these off, you're just going to take a pry bar or a big screwdriver, get behind that rubber isolator and pop it off. So with this one removed, we're going to have another one uh, kind of over here in this area. Might be a little tricky to see. But we're gonna do the same deal with that. Let's take our pry bar and get one end of it popped off. And the third one, if you follow our exhaust up towards the front, third one's gonna be right here. Once we get that to come off, then we can loosen up our strap a little bit and let the exhaust come down a little ways. Now, before we put our hitch up into place, I just wanna go over our attachment points and the hardware, and they're gonna be the same on both sides of our vehicle. So we're gonna have a total of three on each side, two here and one there. And these are just factory weld nuts, so they're threaded. I do suggest, um, you know, just making sure these are clean. You can spray them out with penetrating oil and, and use a brush like this just to get any dirt and junk out of there. Um, and the hardware that we're going to use, so when we're holding our hitch up, you're going to take this bolt and a conical tooth washer and make sure the teeth are going to face this way uh, towards, the, towards the, the frame. And these are simply just going to thread right into those weld nuts. So really straightforward. Uh, with that said, let's grab our hitch and get it up in place. So it is pretty heavy if you need to have a friend help you, uh, you know, it won't hurt anything. I can probably manage this by myself. I just rest a little bit of the weight on the exhaust, but I'm going to line this up. And we'll get at least one bolt started. and tie it on each side. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. So once you have all of your hardware in place and hand tight, you can come back with a socket and snug everything down. So once everything's tight, we need to make sure and come back with a torque wrench and torque everything down to the amount specified in the instructions. If you don't have a torque wrench, you can grab one here at E-Trailer, or a lot of times you go to your local auto parts store and they'll have one there available to rent. Once that just torqued, we can re-hang uh, our exhaust. So re-lubricated the hangers, and this one we'll just do by hand. We'll lift up and line everything up and just push everything back into place there. So for the last one here, now that the exhaust is supporting itself, we'll go ahead and uh, get our strap out of the way. So 
So now all that is left to do is simply raise our spare tire back into position. And once we're done with that, we'll all be good to go. Now we'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt trailer hitch receiver on our 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz.